So in the earlier video, we created an FTP account to log into your website. Now we're going to have to install F. We're going to have to install WordPress onto your server. So the first thing I would do is go to WordPress.org. Download WordPress. Right now it's 3.0, and by the time you watch this video, it could be some other version. So we'll see. Save file. We're going to let that download. And then once you have the uh, files downloaded, we're going to extract them using um, an extractor. So it's usually a zip file, and generally speaking, PC and Mac uh, have um, programs already built in to extract it. So open up the file wherever you have it. I have it right here, so we're going to extract that. See, the files are inside right here under WordPress. Now, inside your FTP, once you've logged in, if you want it to be on the main page, such as tofiersworkshops.com or lawrencechan.com or tofiers.com, if you want it to be installed right there on the main page, then that's where you're going to copy the files into the public HTML. But if you don't, let's just say you want to put it into a subdirectory. Let's just say you already have a main portfolio website, say lawrencechan.com, but you want it to be lawrencechan.com slash blog. Then you're going to create a new folder um, new folder here, and then you can call it blog, and then you can copy the files into the blog folder. But since I'm going to just drop it right into the index or the home page, I'm just going to copy all these files, drag it, and drop it into there. Now, while the files are uploading on CyberDuck right here, I'm going to close this, and I can close WordPress for now. We're going to create a database. So let's scroll down, and under databases, you're going to select MySQL databases. Select that. Okay, once you're here, we're going to have to create a database. And it can be any name you want, so just make sure that you remember it later on. But we're going to have a page open so that we can just copy and paste information. So in this case, I'm going to call this test1, just for fun. So it's Tofurio underscore test1, create database. And it's creating it. And the next step we're going to have to do is to create a user to log into that database. So it's Tofurio1 underscore test1. Go back. All right, once you've loaded the page again, the next step is to create a user. So under MySQL users, add new user. So I'm just going to put my name, say Lawrence. Password, I'm going to just put password and password again. Create user and then Lawrence under the password, password is created. Go back to the control panel, I'm sorry, not the control panel, but go back to the SQL database page. Scroll down. Now we're going to have to attach the user to the database. So we're going to select the Lawrence to test1. Add all privileges and then make changes. So just remember this information because we're going to need it. But even if you don't, we can always go back and then just look at the wizard. Or I'm sorry, not look at the wizard, but look at the, the table right here.